This is the new sofa series by Inga Sompe for Ligne Rosé. And um, it consists of a, of a very uh, simple wooden base, wooden frame. And then there's a, an upholstered, like an upholstered blanket just thrown over it, it seems like. Another new product by Ligne Rosé is um, this lamps by uh, the German, young German designer Matthias Hamm. It's called Lan Lantern. And um, he presented this lamps for the first time one year ago in London. And uh, finally they went into production with Ligne Rosé. This is um, the model, the new sofa also by Ligne Rosé, Ted by Peter Mali. It is actually um, a sofa he designed in 1983, also for Ligne Rosé, and was in production for a long time. But then, yeah, it wasn't produced anymore. And um, this year, Ligne Rosé decided to um, to re-edit it. And Peter Mali changed some details, made some uh, some new um, um, adjustments of the sofa. And for example, this um, almost ornamental border you have down there under, under the upholstery is new. And um, also the movable armrests are new. But the idea of the sofa is that all the cushions, all the, all the backrests can be moved away and sit um, set together um, independently. Hello, Alex Knowles from Core. Um, you are presenting a new, um, a new upholstery series. Can you tell us some details about it, how the development and uh, the design? The name Jalis is, comes from the Arabian language. Jalis is basically this feeling of sitting together on the floor, this communal eating together, relaxing together. Um, and in, in Arabian land, uh, countries, they tend to sit close to the floor on these large, loose cushions. They, they drink together, eat together on the floor. It's all very familiar. And the idea behind Jalis was to try and recreate that, but with a, a German feel to it. So we have large cushions, which have been specially developed and have taken lots and lots of prototyping to get this seating co um, correct but they give this feeling of a huge big cushion, slightly off the floor, um, which then gives this seating comfort because they're nice and soft, they will relax over time, so again you have this feeling of, of being relaxed. You also uh, developed a certain kind of, um, a certain kind of textile for the, for the whole series. Um, how was that and who did you develop it with? Um, Jalis, the design of the, the sofa design itself, is done by Yez and Laub. Um, two um, German designers and they have worked very closely with the fabric manufacturer Roy to develop a, a special Arabian type of fabric. They wanted to get this whole feeling across through the fabric and in addition we have this beautiful stitching detail along the sides for which we've had to buy a special machine in order to allow us to create that look. So it has a nice contrast to the stitching as well. Very nice, thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bergmann from Raum, Raum Plus, a German company. Um, you are presenting a new slide, sliding shelving system. Um, could you explain some details about it and how it is constructed? Yeah, so principally we are specialists for very well moving sliding door systems and then we decided why not putting our roller system below a rack. And this you can see here. This moving rack is completely independent from the solutions what we have before or behind and it can move very easily from left to right you can have it at different levels here as much as you want this is uh, Richard Lampert he presents uh, a new edition of um, this Herbert Hirsche chair can you tell us this very nice story about uh, how you found the chair and everything uh, it was actually very simple because um I realized last year that Herbert Hirsch would have been 100 years old this year in May and what I did was I went into his old house where his daughter still lives and was looking it's an amazing place because there are so many old things sometimes prototypes sometimes just one pieces and I found in a dark corner I found this chair 
who was rotten. The, the fabric was torn off. It was, and it was the only piece left from 1957, where this uh, chair was when this chair was designed and um, presented at a fair in Berlin, Interbau. And I saw the chair and I said, "Wow, that's a lovely piece. I have to do and this." And nobody took care of it. It's the same thing. It was me who, about eight years ago for the 90th birthday of Her Herbert Hirsch, decided to do the lounge chair which you see in the back. And this is when the whole story started.